Well, 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 it looks like Doctor Who's 60th anniversary has a secret episode. What? What? Let's get into it. So the three specials for Doctor Who's 60th anniversary are The Star Beast, Wild Blue Yonder, and The Giggle. The Giggle is a very strange title, and I'm sure we'll talk about that later, but that's, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we are talking about episode two, Wild Blue Yonder. In interviews with Doctor Who magazine and everywhere else, Russell T Davis has said that Wild Blue Yonder is one of the most like secretive episodes ever and we've barely seen any footage of it. I think we saw the teeniest tiniest bit of footage within the um, 60th trailer when they announced all of the titles, but even the footage in those trailers showed redacted on screen and it got all glitchy as if us the viewer weren't supposed to see any of the footage, which I think is really really cool. Like they're playing into the idea that hey this episode keep it under wraps. I think one of the the quotes from Doctor Who magazine was Russell saying, if you could go into episode two without seeing a trailer or anything like that, do that because that'll be the best way to watch this episode because I don't think he wants any promotional material for this episode out there. Although that's not a practical thing from a marketing standpoint. But anyway, from what little stuff we know, a lot of us have our theories as to what exactly the secret Doctor Who episode has in store. So let's read out your thoughts. Oh, and also while you're here, why not hit that subscribe button, please? We are trying to reach 30,000 subscribers. Pretty please. I'd very much appreciate that and appreciate you. The Air Force song is called Wild Blue Yonder, which implies it has something to do with the sky. So keep your eye on the skies. If you ever see a little blue box flying up there in the sky, you shout for me, Gramps. Oh, you just shout. Yes, He's the flying blue box! Wow, Jacob, we're starting on a very sad note. A very, very sad note. But that's that's nice. Maybe the blue is TARDIS-y. Maybe the blue does have something to do with the TARDIS and the sky and flying through the sky and looking through a telescope. <laughs> Oh, I'm sad now. I don't know, but Russell T Davis has me real confused right now. And then he's uploaded a screenshot from Instagram where Russell has said, no, it's a typo. It's mild blue yonder. What, Russell? Why? Why are you calling it mild blue yonder? Do you not have as much faith in this episode as you were before? I can almost assure you that this episode won't be mild. It'll be spicy. It'll be spicy hot. Not sure, but maybe the toy maker has the power to fix Donna, but there's a price to pay for the doctor, dot, 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 question mark. Ooh, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot because if Neil Patrick Patrick Harris is in fact confirmed to be playing the toy maker, then he definitely will have some kind of perception altering reality thing going on. So yeah, maybe a deal has been made with the toy maker, um, but yeah, maybe there is a price to pay. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the episode. It will feature the 14th Doctor alongside Donna. It will be an episode of television falling under the genre sci-fi. Very good, Sam. Very good. And congratulations, you are the comment of the week. Good job. Might be a way to tackle the loose ends with the timeless child. Although I'd rather they focus on a bigger picture of Doctor Who rather than a relatively recent plot point. And I hope that this is not the route they take. Max, it seems like you're backing out of your own point there. But yeah, I very much doubt they will touch on the timeless child stuff. I know it's been a big part of Doctor Who for the last five years, but this is a new era. And I think Russell T Davis has said before that he likes the timeless child plot point like as a thing, but I honestly don't think that he will um, be addressing it, especially not in the 60th anniversary, but you never know. The, the man's wild. He is he is the wild blue yonder. My uncle works at Doctor Who. He told me it's about how the color blue was invented. Sounds like some serious stuff. Yeah, your uncle works at Doctor Who? Yeah, well, so does my dad. And my dad is David Tennant. Maybe the Doctor and Donna are trapped inside a TARDIS and the TARDIS might be switching between other TARDIS interiors for some reason. Maybe to show Donna that she's missed or maybe it's the toy maker's interference. Maybe going through the Doctor's saddest moments. Ship looks like 7B. Oh, okay, cool. A lot of people have said that this might be inside the TARDIS, those brief clips that we saw in that trailer. It kind of looks tardis -y. It looks like they're on some kind of sci-fi craft. So there has been a lot of speculation that this is in fact Matt Smith's 7B TARDIS, you know, the one he had for 2013. 10 years years ago, can you believe? And while yes, I think there's a very similar color palette, I'm not sure if it is Matt Smith's TARDIS. If anything, I think it could be a new TARDIS or just like a corridor they've made. But I like the idea of the Doctor and Donna being trapped inside the TARDIS because I think one thing we do know about this episode is that there was no public filming for it, which means that everything took place within a set, within a built set at Bad Wolf Studios. So is that set multiple TARDISes? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a return to the edge. Certainly something secretive that required a lot of green screen surrealism. Russell T said that there still hadn't been a single piece of footage released from this episode and he wants to keep it that way until he airs. Yes, I think that's referring to the interview we did with Doctor Who magazine where he said that, look, I don't want people to see anything until the episode goes out. Which makes me excited and I think Russell, Russell's cooking. Let him cook. Let him cook. 
Based on the little we've seen, I feel like this will be a high concept story somewhat similar to Journey to the Center of the TARDIS, where the Doctor and Donna are stuck in one situation, likely caused by the Toy Maker. A nice character building episode for the pair. That's really, really cool, and I think this episode will very, very much be, you know, Doctor and Donna focused, just on their relationship healing. I think in the first episode, it's going to be a lot of madness. You know, we're going to get introduced to Yasmin Finney's Rose. We're going to see the whole uh, Temple Noble clan again. And then at the end, I think the Doctor and Donna will, you know, go off on an adventure and something happens where they're stuck here for some reason. And I think it will very much be a character piece for both the Doctor and Donna, or Catherine Tate and David Tennant. I think those two, they're already electric as is, but you know, just put them in a room together for 60 minutes of screen time. I think there's gonna be some absolutely magnetic performances from both of them. But I do like the idea that the toy maker caused this, like they're trapped for some reason by the toy maker. You might be onto something there. It will be the episode where Donna gets her memories back. The redacted shown in this section is the Metacrisis hiding things from her memory until the doctor does something risky and gives her the memories back to save the day, which is why he tells her, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, so in that trailer, the doctor does say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Donna. Is that the moment where she's getting her memories back? I was always under the assumption that she ha would have her memories by episode two, but maybe this entire episode is just her getting her memories back in time for the finale. That's left me speechless. Wowee. But I also like the idea that the redacted in those trailers is Donna's memory. I don't know, if my brain was hiding memories from me, it'd be weird if I just saw a big redacted over things that I wasn't supposed to see, but I guess, you know, it's a visual element in a show. I just like the idea that if there's something I don't want to see, I'd, I would just see a big redacted in front, you know? Expensive fuel? Oh, redacted. Get out of here. All the bullies at school? Redacted. Get out definitely feels like a TARDIS related title. I think it's the most under wraps because it'll have a big cameo, like Tom Baker at the end of the Day of the Doctor kind of big. Yeah, that's one thing a lot of people have said with the 60th because, you know, it feels more like a celebration of series four and Russell's era rather than a larger, you know, the 60 years of Doctor Who. So I think if any episode is going to have cameos, it'll be episode two, but I don't, I don't know who's coming back. A lot of people think that um, Susan Foreman might be coming back. That'd be cool. That'd be great, but we'll have to wait and see. I think it'll be the Doctor and Donna trapped on a space ship of sorts, forced to confront each other and tell the truth. It'll be an episode about characterization, tension, and possibly acceptance that it won't last forever. However, there will still be a great looking threat on board. If by great looking you mean Neil Patrick Harris great looking, <laughs> But yeah, I really like what you said here about characterization, tension, and possible acceptance that it won't last forever. That's deep. That's really, really deep. And you know, that also has made me question, is Donna gonna make it out of the 60th anniversary specials? Are they gonna kill Donna off? Would they have the balls to do something like that? I don't think so, but I don't know. But hey, thank you so much for your comments, but it doesn't stop there. What do you think is gonna happen in Wild Blue Yonder? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. There is so much to speculate about this episode. It, it gets me excited. It gets me excited. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already and we are trying to reach a million billion subscribers so if we can do that by next week that would be great and i'll give all of you a dollar maybe not and also shout out to joey for editing this video again you are a legend and i appreciate you everyone go and check out joey's stuff link in the description somewhere anyway that's gonna do like and sub see you later Alonzi.